Hey everyone, in this video we'll take a look at the weapon sound design for Pavlov VR. As you can see we're using blueprints in Unreal Engine 4.21 for audio implementation. As this is a VR title we're also using the Steam Audio plugin for binaural audio processing, but we can dive into that in another video. Here we have a cue for an M4 assault rifle. Let me audition that for you. <laughs> As you might have noticed, we have four banks or sets of sounds, each being randomized by their own node before being mixed together. Here we have the first person thump and mechanical sound. This is the actual explosion from the firearm. And here we have a distant shot. And here we have the outdoor tail. Each set of sounds is being sent to a randomizer node, which selects one of the six variations to play. There's also a modulator node per bank to add minor pitch and volume variation. Over here we have the crossfade by distance node. And as I'll show you in a minute here, uh, we can adjust the blend or the mix of these sounds as the listener's position changes. Let me show you that. Okay, there we go. So here we have some bots fighting each other, and as we pull back... You'll start to notice that the gunshots change to reflect their distance from the listener. Let's go back. So on the shot reverb tail, we have a branch node here with an outdoor parameter that is switched by a ray cast that detects whether the weapon is indoors or outdoors. So if the shot is outdoor, we get full length. But I also decided to add a little bit of this reverb to the indoor shot, but with an enveloper to make it much shorter. Along with this main shot sound, we have we have these additional reverb tails. Outdoor and indoor. And these are two D stereo sounds that play. In first person only. Here we have another modulator followed by a quality level switch. Currently, these sounds do not play at any level below high. As you can see, medium, low, and quest are not connected. Regarding the quest, I'll do another video about how I take these sounds and creatively combine them to make a quest specific shot cue that performs well within the hardware's limitations. On that note, I'll leave you guys with some footage of this weapon in action, and thanks for watching.